wildlife poaching is big business, worth more than $17 billion a year and growing. The slaughter is being fueled by demand from Asia, where rhino horn is a status symbol and believed to even cure cancer. Only one thing stands between the rhino and heavily armed poachers. This series follows the next generation of elite anti-poaching rangers as they are put through intense military training. Once ready, they head out into what has become a wildlife war zone. The town of Woodspreit is surrounded by wildlife reserves, including the world-famous Kruger National Park. The area is on the front line of the war against poaching. It's protected by a group of elite rangers. Trainee rangers are put through intense training as they learn to survive in the bush, track poachers, and use high-tech weaponry. Only the best will survive. Today sees the arrival of a new batch of trainees. They've come from all over the country. Over the next 38 days, they'll be pushed to the limit. Trainees have to hand in all their personal belongings and are allowed no contact with home during the course. I'm starting to see my heart beat. Ah, man, it's normal. It's normal. Yeah. All the mind. Mm. From here, they will take me to electrical chair. <laughs> it feels like that. Now we need to do it. Yeah. Where is banana? You know. Learn a lot about each other, yeah. including the head shapes. <laughs> Next. Yeah, that's quick. <laughs> Their heads are shaved to make them all equal. The next. Oh. Yeah. You see? <coughs> no, that's my bus mark already. Come have a seat. Come have a seat. You're looking very bad. The thing is, I'm not going to be before coming to the course, Lunga was a lowly paid farmhand in the south of the country. And if we are calling off from an Bandi tatin na kaya bandi ya bandi new gendi ya ngapa pezul abem zanza Afrika ndi ye kwenza le kosi anti poaching. Tikin ba ya ngautula ya kulum kaga to kum bandi ya kumegeke ya kulu kubo kando yonge ndi kwa zina muzmela. Uh, 
Lunga has never traveled away from the farm where his family has lived for generations. It's going to take him four days to travel the 1400 kilometers to Hoodspreit. My mother was a bit skeptical about me coming here because she doesn't want a little boy to put his life on the line. But uh, after explaining the situation to her and, and why I want to be here and because it's a passion for me, it's not, we're not in this for the money, she started to understand and at the end she was quite proud to say that, that you know, her son grew up to do something that's not about money. We, we're trying to make a difference here. Yeah, can I please have a uh, Thirty uh, pants and a medium T-shirt and a belt and size eight boots. Each trainee is issued with their own kit: a single shirt, one pair of trousers, one pair of boots. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Once they leave for the training camp. There's no coming back for more. You guys are out of your civilian uniforms, you're in camos. From now on, training starts. I'm Corporal Kelvin, this is Corporal Remember. Do you understand? Yes. Do you understand? Yes, yes, Corporal. Come, move it, move it, move it, hurry up. Om hier die cursus te kom voltooi en een goeie werk te kry in die ranger uh, besighede en vir hulle te werk as een vader en enige iets te bekom in die lewe. With over 80% unemployment in the township, Lionel is one of the few to have had a job. I wonder what makes my kind of hair in the north and the purple. As I feel like what it is. But I know that he was a dapper kind of clings up. He had always from oysters made and up, waited, up, waited. So I grew and saw it made there. So. Just like Lunga, Lionel has never been away from home before. Each trainee is issued a food ration that includes a large bag of maize meal to make porridge from. It has to last 16 days. All right, guys, my name's Vincent. I'm just going to have a quick chat with you before we, you go over to Calvin and start work or start training. This is your last opportunity to ask questions, all right? The reality of this situation is, guys, you're going to get given a semi-automatic weapon when you finish this training. You are going to have one hundredth of a second to decide whether you can pull that trigger or not. If you aren't disciplined, if you haven't been pushed to your limits and you pull that trigger at the wrong time, you are going to jail for a minimum of 12 years. So we can't have people here that are soft. We can't have people here that are going to crack under pressure. And I can't look at any one of you in the eyes and say, you the guy, you the guy, or you not the guy. That's why the training is like it is. All these young men have come here hoping to help in the fight to save Africa's wildlife. For 38 days, they'll be completely cut off from their families and the outside world. Their fellow trainees must become their new family. Isolation will bond them and they will learn that teamwork is how you survive in the bush. But the bush is a tough place. 
several Protrac rangers have died on patrol. Two were recently killed by lions. I love what I, uh, what I will be doing is to protect the rhinos. And that's, that's basically all, just going in the field, protecting what I love. And I love wildlife. Nabil's father provides security guards to local wildlife reserves. I am happy for Nabil going into the anti-poaching direction, uh, going on this course, we as a family, feel proud of him and uh, I'm happy also for him uh, following in my footsteps. Nabil was never before gone uh, so far away from home and I'm so worried because it's his first time. I think this will be a test for me, a big challenge. Um, you know, I haven't prepared uh, physically but up here mentally, you know, uh, this is where it comes from, you know, it's all in the mind, it's what you put into it. Uh, you know, you have, to, you, you have to encourage yourself, motivate yourself, tell yourself this, something that would, would make you go one step ahead, one step further. It may only be day one, but the trainees are immediately faced with their first big challenge. They have to carry a heavy backpack six kilometers to the training camp. The march moves at a punishing pace. After only 10 minutes, Nabil is struggling. The march was was uh, was quite rough. Started out um, feeling strong, but only a few minutes after the plus minus 30, 40 kgs on our backs got quite heavy. Um, Oak started struggling, especially one of our mates, a Bill. I got funny pains, you know, all over. Uh, I started getting weak, you know, um, getting cramps, you know. I just, I just didn't give up hope because uh, to think you're coming from so far. Every time I fell down, I got back up. A trapped nerve in Nabil's back from a previous car accident is making it almost impossible for him to walk. Hey guys, you want to back? 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 You want to back?
Yeah, and cutters are cool, Londole, called again, the end I jong and willing killing it all. By a bum cutters, a bum telebang, a banner, a noze, a give up, a sugar good young, a gang up, is ten capers of give up and ye, who suglo gala limach. You have to understand, guys, this is just the beginning. This is absolutely nothing for Ken to want you to face during this course. Motivate him. He's your teammate, not my teammate. This is your responsibility to bring him through this course. Do you want to see your teammate drop out? No, Corporal. I dare you. Do you want to see your teammate drop out? No, Corporal. So keep him motivated. Keep him on this course. Keep him here. Let me hear you talking. He is your brother. In the bush, he is your lifeline. This is not just a saying. It's not just saying that he is going to look after your life. In the bush, he is your lifeline. If he is not fit, you are going to die. If he cannot shoot, you are going to die. Do you understand me? Yes, go, go. Do you understand me? Yes, go, go. I really hate having to shout at these guys all the time because it makes me feel like I'm doing something that's offending this person, but it's not about offending the person. It's about turning them into a better person. The mental boundaries of the things, I have to push him further than he can go for him to survive properly in the bush, for him to do his job. By me shouting, I'm motivating this guy to go further than he thinks he can go. By the left, quick march! After two grueling hours, they eventually arrive at the training camp. Right, what are we? One team! What are we? One team! What are we? One team! I like you, chaps. Keep yeah, it up, man. boys! Put on, put on, quickly, Aya. Guys! This camp, it's mine and corporal members' camp. Don't talk when I'm talking. What the team did for me was unbelievable. Every time they picked me up, they they, they spoke to me in, in in lots of ways, which just to encourage me, you know, to get back up and move forward. I can't do this. You can't do this, Nabil. You can't do this. My, you know, I'm, I'm grateful. You know, all my love goes out to them. Come on, fast, everyone! Come, 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 come. I have to do it. Read Number 14, no valuables or cash at camp. If stolen, your problem. 15, no visitors or women at the camp or office. The camp has strict rules. They're not there just to get them through the training. Someday, they may even save their lives. Always climb on vehicle from the back, never the sides. Number 36, you, you will only eat twice a day, morning and evening. 38 days of working hard, doing something that you believe in. It's nothing. 38 days to go by. It literally, in the scale of life, 38 days is it's nothing. It's one second. Yes, Corporal. Even though they're exhausted, the training continues. deliberately pushes them to their limits. They must be as tough as the poachers they're up against. Check, one, two. It won't be long before some of them drop out. One, two, three, one. 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 Two, three, one.
When they're finally allowed to break for dinner, Nobil can only watch as the others cook. His trapped nerve has paralyzed his arm. Uh, we get pap, which is this uh, maize meal porridge that everyone in Africa eats. It fills you up, but it's, it's not the most tasty thing in the world. You can put a little sugar or soya, mix it somewhere you want. I I you have to keep stirring the pup, otherwise it doesn't come out right. It's quite hard work making pup, but uh, it seems like everything out here is hard work. It's been a tough first day. Yeah, I'm tired, bro. Hey, bro. Very, very tired. I sure can go to sleep now. Yeah, just pack your stuff, man. Yeah, I'm just gonna pack yeah. my stuff and see. Okay. Uh, see you tomorrow, man. Okay, okay, man. The team sleeps in two communal huts on dirt floors with no mattresses. So that's why I've never seen that brown and brown and white men and swart men so so by each other come as a family and that they curse us so I've seen it there now. It's just about that time for me, uh, getting myself into bed. Reason being, uh, I need to keep this arm warm uh, for not any more damage for being out in the cold. So I'll be getting. A bit early into bed. No boots to be taken off. That's part of our rules. So you climb in full kit. Yeah, just in case, you know, we have to get, we get a call up or anything. <coughs> and um, then we know our boots on because it takes quite a while to put your boots on. And as well, no zipping up uh, your, your, your sleeping bag. I am not a woman. 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 I I am not a I felt someone coming closer, a little bit closer, up, up my leg. <laughs> I checked, oh, but this is one of my mates. He said, no, first it's cold, it's cold. Come closer, come closer. So we all kind of huddled together and, and we, we got through the night. Even though the wind was howling, it's cold. And we made it. The trainees have 37 more days of punishing training ahead. Only the most determined will complete the course. In the next episode, the trainees go on their first patrol in Lion Country. Nabil finds out if he can continue on the course. Sleeping in the bush makes for a restless night. and they're shocked by their first crime scene. We were struggling to find the bullet. I was literally hacking with an axe through flesh and bone with blood splattering everywhere. 